up everybody? Today is Thursday and that means it's time for a Throwback Thursday. Some of you guys have been asking for me to talk about my journey on the Carnival Ecstasy. So all I say to you is, want to go on a journey? Want to come on this cruise with me? Let's go. Okay, so the time was 2010, about five years ago. I was in Wichita, Kansas, and I was working for the uh, the bar. So I was working for our fantasy complex, which was a gay bar. And I had a lesbian friend and a straight friend that wanted to go on a cruise. And they asked me, hey, do you want to go on a cruise as well? I was like, yeah, of course. So we went and we drove all the way to Galveston, Texas, where we were about ready to embark on a journey to the Western Caribbean. Uh, on our journey, uh, we were going to see Progreso, Mexico and Cozumel, Mexico, and two days at sea. So it was just a wonderful time. Um, on Like with me never being on a cruise before, I didn't know what to really expect. Um, whenever I got on the Carnival Ecstasy, the first thing that I experienced was, holy crap, it is freaking nice. First class service, opening the doors for you, welcoming you on the, on the ship. It was just wonderful. The first thing actually I, I remember being told is this is not a boat, this is a ship. There's a difference. Uh, a boat you row with, you are the motor. Ships, they have motors. That's what I was told. Um, so we finally get to our stateroom and we have, you have options where you have no window, which is like the cheapest that you can get. You have a little, uh, what's it called, a porthole or it's a circle window that you look out of which is usually underwater. And then you also have an upgrade from that, which is actually a window where you can see out. Uh, basically, it's the beautiful blue ocean below you and the sky in front of you, it's just amazing. But then you can even go one above that and it's like the state rooms, where, or it's like the suites where it's like multiple rooms. And yeah, so I'm not going Titanic first class. We got the window. Um, we were going with a group, it was a gay group of, uh, it's, it's called Gay Ribbian Cruises. So it's not, it wasn't a gay cruise, but it just had like 600 gay people on there. Uh, but there was like 1200 passengers. So like half of the passengers were just families. The other half was a group, a, a group of gay people. And, and it, there was at first when they found out that there was a gay group on here, there was controversy because the straight people hated the gay people. It was really bad at first. Eventually they separated us. So like the gay people were only allowed or the gay group was only allowed to go into so many places in the straights. So segregation happened on this trip, which was unfortunate. But so our day at sea, we just, I went and just soaked up the sun, went swimming, ate a lot. I mean, if you're going on a cruise, you're going to gain so much weight. All the food is free and they're, they're serving food all day long. You have the option of getting something really fast or you have the option of getting something first class. They will come to you and they will pop the towel and put it on your lap or they'll put it in, in here for you and you get your uh, appetizer and you get a full course entree. You get multiple. You can say, I want the steak, the shrimp and the chicken or whatever you want. I mean, it's just amazing. But that night on the first day, now this is whenever I looked beautiful and there was this boy, professional dancer, was part of the entertainment and he looked at me and I looked at him and you'll see behind me right now a picture of this individual where he was singing karaoke that night and it was just love at first sight. I literally fell in love with this guy. He was from Canada and I, I've never talked to him since the cruise. Um, if he would see this love vlog, I would love for him to contact me on Twitter and get reacquainted. Uh, but anyway, so we started talking and for the rest of the week, like we were boyfriends for a week. We just, we enjoyed time with each other and it was breathtaking. Uh, so I'm gonna tell you a little secret here. I've never told anybody else. So the crew is not allowed to mingle with the passengers. 
The only people who can is the entertainment staff. They can mingle. Uh, if you're in the casino, you're not allowed to mingle. Once you're done with your shift, you have to go below to the crew quarters and that's where you have to be for the rest of your time. And except for the entertainment, well, his roommate uh, on, the, on the ship had a key to a door that only certain people had and it was where all the uh, in the uh, on the stage like the sound people where they stay in the back of the house um, and they like do the sound and everything for the press or the stage act well I what I can't remember how many told me he told me that there was only like three people who had a key and that was uh, like the people in charge and his which his uh, roommate which was the manager of the sound room well anyway so his manager or not his manager but his roommate gave him a key and so he was like hey I have a key to this room we'll be alone because I he tried to get me to go down to the crew quarters but he didn't know if I was allowed down there um, and I think that there would have been some if I did go down there and I got caught there was a chance he said that I would be sent back to America and so it was just I did we didn't want that's how this ended up coming about so we just knew we wanted to be alone so you guys are trying to get where I'm going so we finally got into the room and it might have been the quickest sex I've ever had but it was the best sex I've ever had uh, but I fell in love with this boy and I mean all week long uh, but so let's get past that so I remember going to the casino and uh, so the cruise for me all together was 500 and some dollars and that included like, tips for everybody like the maitre d uh, your housekeeping like you have to tip all these people so I tipped everybody uh, so that was the 500 and some dollars so it's like 350 dollars for the actual cruise uh, and then like 150 dollars for tips and like alcohols and everything like that well I went to the casino it took a hundred dollars because there was a casino on the ship and I end up winning a thousand dollars so I literally cashed out went straight down to uh, the place where they uh, where you have to pay your fees and everything for like tips and everything like that and I literally said before you charge my card for the cruise because they charge your card after the cruise is over which is weird um, but I paid for the cruise, paid for the tip. So basically the cruise was free. So anyway, so Progresso, we went around and we did you know, sightseeing stuff. Cozumel, sightseeing and on the beach, beautiful places. Um, but this vlog is running a little long, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, the last day came, we got back to Galveston, Texas and before I literally exited the ship, he was there, my Canadian boyfriend. And we hugged for the last time. And you'll see right here, a picture of him and me, the last picture right before we exited the ship. And this is literally the last time I've ever seen this boy. If anybody knows this Canadian, let him know to message me so we could just kinda get back and get to know each other again but anyways guys if you've ever been on a cruise give this video a thumbs up if you want to go on a cruise give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to like subscribe leave comments below on what you think about this vlog and that's it